Hi guys, this is Rani Usha from VJ Creations. Today I'm going to talk about drugs, how it is observed in a human body. A drug can enter into circulation and reach the site of action only after absorption. The absorption of a drug involves its passage across cell membrane. As a rule, lipid insoluble and water insoluble drugs are not observed from the gut. Drugs can pass through cell membranes by two processes. They are passive transfer and specialized transport. Simple diffusion and filtration are which comes under passive transport. It is a bi-directional process. Polar water soluble and non-polar lipid soluble substances can be transported by this process. And through filtration, only water soluble substance can be transported by this process. It involves passage through pores present in the cell membrane. A specialized transport that is active transport it is a selective process which requires energy, also it requires a carrier and so it is called as carrier transport. Facilitated diffusion is a very similar to carrier transport but it does not require energy. Pinocytosis, which are the molecules and macromolecules are transported by this process. It is similar to phagocytosis where cells engulf fluids or macromolecules from the surroundings. The factors which affects or modifies drugs absorption can be the following physical state, particle size, solubility, concentration, area of absorbing surface, circulation to site of absorption, route of administration and bioavailability. In physical state, drug in the form of liquids are well absorbed than solids. Gases are very quickly absorbed through, lung, through lungs. Smaller the particle size, better is the absorption of drug. If the particle size is large, the drug is slowly absorbed and hence the action is delayed. Insolubility and easily soluble drug is quickly absorbed. Also drugs in the form of solutions are quickly absorbed than solids. In concentration, concentrated forms of drugs are quickly absorbed than dilute solutions. In the area of absorbing surface, greater the area of absorbing surface, quicker is the absorption of the drug. For example, lungs and peritoneal cavity or large surface areas from where drugs can be quickly absorbed. In circulation to site of absorption, increased blood flow to the area of absorption can increase the absorption of a drug. This can be achieved by massage or local application of heat. Vasoconstrictors decrease blood flow and so decrease the absorption of a drug. In a route of administration, it is a very important factor which determines drug absorption. Some drugs are absorbed only on parenteral administrations and they fail to get absorbed on oral administration, example insulin. So it is necessary to carefully choose the route of administration of any drug. Under bioavailability, which is the quantity of a drug that is absorbed and reaches systemic circulation after administration by any route. The bioavailability is 100% after intravenous injection, but it is less after oral administration. Bioavailability is affected by factors like physical properties, dosage form and physiological factors. If you like this video, please subscribe us. Thank you.